What's up guys, hope you're having an awesome day. So I know I have a lot of vehicles and a lot of projects going on, but hear me out here. I picked up another Toyota pickup. This is a 1981 and I picked it up because it was a screaming deal and it already has a lot of stuff done to it, which will be nice. And the things that I'm wanting to add to it or do to it will not take a lot of time and then we'll be able to be out using it pretty quickly. So anyways, let's go over the stuff that this thing has in it already. All right, so for the drivetrain in this thing, it already has a Chevy 4.3 swap done to it. It has the W56 manual transmission as well as the original Toyota gear driven transfer case. For the rear axle, it's the factory eight inch that has been beefed up quite a bit. And then the front is the factory eight inch Toyota straight axle is actually from a little bit newer vehicle. There's a little bit of stuff done to it, but not too much. And then for the thirds front and rear, it has 529 gears with an e-locker rear and a Detroit front. So that's pretty awesome. It has some good parts in it to start with which is exciting, especially the 4.3 swap. That thing seems to run pretty decent, doesn't smoke or do anything weird with that. The interior on this thing is in very good shape, pretty stoked on how it is. It is mostly complete. I still have the uh, bezel piece or the piece that goes around the column here I need to put back on. I had some wiring issues that I just fixed a little while ago, so I need to put that back on, that'll be finished. But other than that, the interior is mostly complete. It's missing this cover up here. I would really like to find one of those. So if you have one of those, drop a comment down below and I would love to get that from you. Has the wing windows. Everything in this thing is working except for the AC. I'll have to address that later if I want to. But yeah, it's in uh, decent shape. Not too much stuff to do to the interior to make it nice and comfy. It also has front and rear bumpers. I'm going to change these around and maybe finish out the sides a little bit different. The light bars are going away and then we will stuff a winch there in the center. And then here in the back, the rear bumper is already done very nicely. I like how it is, how it extends over here on the side to protect the bed and it's nice and clean and tucked up. I don't think I'm gonna change anything on that except for maybe adding some different backup lights. All right, so here's the engine on this thing. Like I said, it is a Chevy 4.3. This is a late model Vortec 4.3, and the swap looks like it is done pretty decent. There's nothing too crazy in here, at least that I'm wanting to address at the moment. We're just gonna stick to general maintenance on this thing and be good to go. Still has the AC compressor up here that is not hooked up. I don't know if I wanna change that to air or add the AC later, we'll figure that out. Yeah, it has some headers that they modified. They had to modify them quite a bit to get them to fit on each side. Had to squeeze a couple of the tubes to make them fit. All right, so I got the Yoda up on the lift so I can show you guys underneath here. This is the 4.3 up front here. As you can see, it's been hitting the front axle. So what we're gonna do is a rear leaf uh, spring swap for the front and then hopefully that will push the front axle forward a little bit more and gain our clearance between the axle and the diff. So they've cut most of this axle truss away already trying to make clearance for the diff uh, to the axle. What I'm gonna do is take the rest of it off and then I have a new one I'm gonna put on there once the axles move forward. We also have a U-bolt flip kit for this thing and then like I said, we're just gonna be cleaning it up. I will probably have to get new splines for this front drive line or lengthen it of some sort. But you can see up here where they had to bash in the header a little bit to get that to clear uh, for the clutch on that side. And then over here for the steering linkage, but it works, it's all sealed up. They got the exhaust ran through this. It looks pretty decent. I'm gonna leave that for now. Got a little exhaust leak here to fix. And then the T-case mount is blown. I'll put a new one of those in. And then it looks like the top cover to the trans is leaking up there. I will seal that when we pull that out. And then we'll just swap the case in. As you can see here, there's a little bit of play and wiggle in the T-case. So I think that's where quite a bit of the noise is coming from. And then this is where they have the fuel pump and filter mounted on this thing. Yeah, it's not bad. You can see here on the rear axle, they just welded these studs on for the shocks. But on the back side here, they have these uh, beefy mounts that I'm going to probably cut off the back side, repurpose and weld on the front side for the shocks just to save a little bit of money. But the back axle is pretty much dialed. It even has the armor here. It looks like it's been built up in the past. So hopefully I won't have to do anything there. We'll probably leave that cross member for the shocks because I don't want to spend too much money. Also has a Via Air tank. We'll probably repurpose that when we get to the air system eventually. 
and then I might end up putting 63s in the back of this. I'm not sure. I want to tackle the front and all the other stuff before I move on to the rear springs. So let's go ahead and go over the parts that I'm going to be putting in this. The first thing I'm going to be tackling is getting the engine up to par, just general maintenance, plugs, oil change, stuff like that. Going to do just an oil change in the transmission as well as replace the throw out bearing. It sounds a little noisy in this. So I'm going to leave those two things pretty much alone because the engine is stock and it runs good. And then for the transfer case, that thing is making a little bit of noise and there's a little bit of play on the output shaft. So I was going back and forth whether I wanted to do dual cases or just do a single case. And I ended up going with a single case with four seven gears in it. That way I can just swap it in and it's quick and I don't have to wait for doing dual cases. It'll just be a lot faster doing the single case and I think it'll work just fine. And then moving on to the rear axle, I'm just going to go through it and check everything out. If there's anything worn or broken, I will replace that and then just put the back, back axle back in. And then for the front, we're going to be doing a little bit more to that. I have an axle truss, RCV axle shafts, as well as hydro assist, and then a new ported steering box that I'm going to be putting on the front. And just generally cleaning up the front axle, nothing major there. We will also be adding frame stiffeners on the front when we have it out, just to strengthen it up a little bit. And that pretty much wraps it up for the axles. We will re be rebuilding the knuckles on the front as well. And then for the bumpers, like I had mentioned, I'm going to take the light bars off and then put a winch up front, maybe change the sides. The rear bumper is going to stay how it is. Yeah, anyways, I am super excited with this thing. I have been driving it everywhere. I don't know why. It's just awesome getting an older vehicle. It's totally different versus the new third gen i mean the new third gen is really cool but there's something about the older vehicles that's just neat you know getting an older vehicle and then cleaning it up it just feels like high school all over again so this is going to be an awesome build series this will go quick pretty much like the third gen tacoma i plan on knocking all these videos out in series from start to finish anyways that is going to wrap up this video for the intro on the little toyota i am super excited about this thing drop a comment down below what you think of this or if there's anything you'd like to see done or filmed with it. Other than that, stay tuned for the other videos on this. They're gonna be rolling right after this one. Drop a like down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.